Oh my goodness, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Morning, people! Welcome to day one of daily vlogging a week until I make a thousand dollars. Sorry if my voice is a little bit slurred. I've got a real bad canker sore on the side of my tongue. I feel like more finance right now. This is rough, guys. I mean, you can probably tell I'm talking all weird because it kind of hurts. All right, so don't mind the check engine lights. That happens all the time. Gonna reset to zero. The goal is gonna be to make $1,000 in less than 500 miles in the week. Total miles, including commuting miles. And we are starting with less than half a tank of gas. And we're on our way to pick up our first order right now. I'll show it to you guys in a second. First, I'm gonna introduce you guys to this gig app I've been using for the last several weeks, but haven't been able to showcase on the channel yet. So Skipcart is not an app that people just go on as customers and order from. Rather, it's a third-party platform that connects drivers to services that need them. For example, most of the orders I've taken on Skipcart have been picking up curbside orders from the grocery stores. But I have had a few restaurant pickups from them before and the cool thing is they are partnered with easy cater so they'll actually send you emails the day before a catering order is scheduled and you can sign up to pick up catering orders now the catch with that is it's first come first serve so they send the email to multiple people at once and if somebody else responds before you do they get the order. So if you see an order with a $70 tip on it, don't get your hopes up. But last night I signed up for this Cracker Barrel catering order and it's about $17 and some change as I looked at it this morning. We're on our way to pick that up right now. now unfortunately, when you're signing up for it, it will tell you the town you're dropping off in, but it won't. It won't show you the exact address or even the map of where you're going. So this order happens to have a drop off I'm not really happy about. A full 11 mile order. But it's all right, you win some and you lose some. And the other neat thing about Skipcart is for the last several weeks, they've been having incentives in my area. $25 to fulfill five orders in the week, 50 if you fulfill 10, and $75 if you fulfill 15. I've hit the 25 before and I've hit the 50 before. I have not hit the 75 before. We're gonna shoot for that this week. Another cool thing about Skipcart, I believe they pay you extra if you're experiencing long wait times at the merchant. Last time I had one of these Cracker Barrel catering orders, I think it was also like $17 and some change, but they didn't have it ready and I had to wait like 30, 40 minutes for it and it went up to a whopping $30. And I had an Uber Eats order to stack with it as well, so I made like $45 in one hour that day before incentive bonus. like some huge Chevron training center and they're not answering their phone. I think I'm gonna go have a look around on foot. The total went up to 1942. I'll take that. Now we're way far out, so I'm gonna start heading back to town. And I've got Uber Eats running. I'm gonna turn on DoorDash. Burn by time just went up another dollar in my area from 14.75 to 15.75. So excited to try that out for the first time right now. Now whether I do earn by time or earn per order will depend on the time of day and time of week. I'm gonna do earn by time on the slower periods to maintain the acceptance rate for later when I need it. Now the other weekend, for whatever reason, DoorDash just reset my acceptance rate. Went from 67 to 100. Don't know why, but that is nice. And I didn't do a whole lot of dashing last week, so my AR is currently at 90%. So it should be easy to maintain 70 or above this week, so it will not be a hell week. But for Monday lunch, I'm gonna have it on earn by time for now. During some of the dinner rushes, I'll do earn per order, because that's when the juicy orders come out. All right, just as I'm pulling back up to loop 250, I get this Uber Eats order. Three items for 850, 5.4 miles. All right, 
right, so as I was dropping that off, I get this order to Jason's Deli for six miles. And we're here right now, so we're about to go pick that up. Yes, man. Have a good one. All right, it wouldn't let me see the payout on that order because it disappeared because my next order came in that fast. But I decided to decline it. I hate that drop off down there. And what do you know? An even worse one. Basically taking me back to where my very first order was today. Now there is a glitch in Earn By Time that allows you to decline more than one in an hour. I'm gonna use that right now. Upon declining, I saw that I would made 877 with that order, so not too bad. All right, wait about five minutes and then I get this. Talk about a banger, 18 bucks for five miles, three items. Right as I'm accepting that, of course, DoorDash sends me another order before I get a chance to pause it. Of course, they didn't want to send me any mileage information, so I used the glitch again, and now I'm down three points on my acceptance rate already. But let's go grab this grub. Yeah. All right, so of course we're waiting on a train right now. This was a DoorDash earned by time order. I wouldn't mind that so much, but this is an Uber Eats order, so. There you go. Yes, man. There we go. All right, so I got this Burger King order. Really nice money to mileage, but bad restaurant and bad drop off. I nixed it. What would you guys have done? Then, and I'm sick and tired of having to decline on DoorDash, but this is just awful. Look at that, just send me something good already. You know, I just realized, you know, every single decline is going to take my acceptance rate down since I haven't gotten past the rolling 100 since the AR was reset. So that is gonna go down really fast. I am actually worried about that now. Okay, so I took this order right here. Still stupidly high on the mileage. But at least it's taking me north. I've never actually been to this restaurant before. Awesome, thank you. I just picked up this order from Bush's Chicken right here, and I've also got this order from Skipcart that I'm gonna try to do right afterwards as long as they don't reassign it. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't made the $75 incentive yet, that is actually a lot harder than it sounds. This app has very, very little volume. Sometimes you'll go hours and hours without seeing an order. And then sometimes when you do see an order there, you'll already be on an active delivery on another app. And Skipcart is like the least lenient app I've ever seen when it comes to heading to the next location. I mean, you go a minute or two not heading in the right direction, they'll give you a notification. And like mere seconds after the second notification, they unassign the order from you. Now, I have had it to where they've unassigned the order and then they sent it right back to me. That's how few drivers are out here, but it doesn't always work out that way. So crossing my fingers, I can still fulfill this order after I'm done with the DoorDash one. Now one little trick, you can kind of trick the skip card app into thinking you're on your way if your current delivery happens to be in kind of the same direction. So if you're going in that direction, they'll think you're heading towards the pickup, but it'll actually allow you to select I'm here early when you're not there yet. Sure, it'll ask you like, are you sure? But I wanna try to avoid doing that as much as I can, but you know, if I have to keep the order. I mean, it's just a curbside grocery pickup and there's still plenty of time to complete the order before it's late. So here's where I'm no longer going in the correct direction for the skip card order. Hopefully they don't take it from me. You will not take it from me! All right, made it. Didn't have to use that little cheat hack. She's loading up the groceries right now and then we're gonna drop them off. Okay, we got a 13 mile double stack. Just picked up from Tropical Smoothie and we're headed to Chicken Express now. Chicken Express usually takes quite a while so I do have the smoothies in a bag. Really hate the mileage on this order, not gonna lie, but what I like about it is the reason it's so high mileage is that the restaurants are so far apart from each other. It's not because it's going 13 miles out of the zone or anything like that. It's just funny to me, all these dashers out there, especially 
especially like among the anti top dash or cherry picker crowd. You're treating every single order as if the mileage is gonna be doubled and you have to count every single trip as a round trip. Like seriously, what does your town look like? Is it a straight line with restaurants on one half and houses on the other half? In what universe does every order or even most orders require driving back to the hot spot? Makes absolutely no sense to me. All right guys, tell me if this happens to any of you. The navigation just takes you to a side entrance to an apartment complex that doesn't even open. Like, all the time. I'm really getting tired of that. Okay, guys. Let's make sure Tony does not see this video. Because as you can see right here, I accepted the order at 3.15 p.m. It is now 4.06 p.m. It did not take an hour and 37 minutes to complete that, but apparently for whatever reason, the Dasher app counted the time twice and paid me $25 base pay on that. On top of $13 collected tips, $38.53. Oh, Tommy, oh, Tommy. And what's more, now we've already got our next order, taking us right back into the zone. I got this eight mile McDonald's order. Not quite a full eight miles. As you can see, they have one of those turnarounds that you can avoid by going out the other end of the parking lot. Still not a good looking order, but I made it to McDonald's and then this popped up much better. I unassigned the DoorDash order and took this one. Something I only do in moderation. Only like extreme circumstances like this. Alright, just picked up this Abuelo's order. Also received this offer on Uber Eats. Not gonna dirty stack. Not on earn by time. I probably wouldn't double stack it anyway since that's a nine item shopping order on Uber. But I'm gonna go drop off this DoorDash, pause it, and zoom right back to the store for the Uber order real quick. All right, I just unassigned the Uber Eats order. The DoorDash took me three miles away from that pickup. Still would have been $2 a mile, but for shopping for nine items, right when the dinner shift is about to start up, really not the best use of my time. So now I'm headed to Marble Slab to pick up this order. Thank you. on this DoorDash order right here, but I wanna show you guys something real quick with Skipcart. This is my second time seeing this order, and it was just a minute ago that that timer ran out. I would take it, but it's like 20 miles going all the way out to Greenwood. I do not want that. Uh, check this out. See that P for pickup right there? I can touch that and I'm offered the same offer once again because there aren't too many drivers out here taking these orders. Another cool thing is I often get text notifications even if I'm offline telling me that there's orders available. All right, now about this DoorDash order. Look how close drop off is from the pickup. Person could literally just walk, which is exactly what I was gonna do for the content. Except they don't have it in the system and won't give it to me. So we're calling DoorDash support instead and getting that canceled. All right, that order is canceled. The agent told me I got $5.16 off of that and I immediately got a nice looking Chick-fil-A order. I was gonna switch DoorDash on to earn per order for the dinner shift, but I think I'm gonna keep it on there and buy time right now. I am not getting any offers on shipped, which is very strange. There we go. I accepted this double stack on DoorDash and then I got this Uber offer to one of the same restaurants. Since the drop off to this and the DoorDash were both above the highway, I figured I could stack this on without interfering with earn by time if I saved the Uber Eats drop off for last. But taking the Uber Eats order turned out to be the worst mistake I could have made because... Well, it happened again. Double down on the base pay. Helpful since I only got a $5 tip between both of those orders. But taking this Uber Eats order was stupid of me. I thought it was going to be much closer. I thought there'd be more of a straight shot I could have gone. I am seven miles away from that drop off. Oh my goodness. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Five minutes later. So I found all these dirt roads that I thought was a shortcut. Of course, it's all private property. So I gotta go back the way I came, down the worst dirt road this car has ever traversed, at least since I got it. 
So yeah, that'll shave yet another 10 minutes and probably five to 10 miles on this trip. I freaking hate this. So after I got off these atrocious dirt roads and back onto the main road, my car was still bumpity bumping as if I was still on a dirt road. So I got out of the car and... All right, y'all, so somehow that dirt road managed to do this. Two flat tires! So that's the end of the ride along. One hour later. All right, guys, so I'm back home. I called my dad and he brought his spare tire over and we replaced both of those. I'm gonna take it to discount tire in the morning. So, hmm, not a good start to the week, not a great ending to the day, but thanks to Tony's app glitching and overpaying me, I made it just $2 short of my goal for the day, so it looks like the show can continue to go on. Honestly, I feel bad that it happened that way because the series is supposed to be showing you guys my strategy, how I make $1,000 in a week, and, and those just, boosting my earnings out of dumb luck, you know? I'm under my dollars to mile goal for right now, 110.4, so hopefully I can make that up during the week, and I will be putting an extra mile or two on it in the morning, gonna be taking this thing to discount tire. But besides that, it could have been worse. It does look like, you know, just a normal, interruption bound to happen sooner or later you deal with it dust yourself off get back up and i do have a savings account so don't worry about nothing i'll just get these replaced and get back on the road so if i do have to cancel the series i'll let you guys know in a community post but it looks like we're not going that direction so i'll leave my totals for the day right here and assuming all goes well i'll see you guys tomorrow